one and it was pretty good it was pretty good so we're gonna jump right on into it on this good old fourth of july weekend and see what the hell they was talking about okay okay That was clearly the ghost of fashion trying to figure out what the fuck. These people have been talking about, you know, the fashions and the this and the that all season. So, you know, by it being a reunion, I definitely thought that they were going to bring it. But, um, you know, to my surprise, a lot of people underwhelmed me. So I'm just going to kind of run through. I don't know if I'm going to hit everybody, but I'll probably hit most. Okay. Um, well, let's start with the fact that Jason, Khalil, Troy, Christian, and Tommy all just have on gray suits. Um, you know, they didn't take the time to do much. You know, some of them may be uh, like custom fit or whatever because Jason's suit seems to be, you know, pretty snug and um, clinging to his kneecaps. So, um, you know, his might be custom. But, you know, everything, everybody else's suit, for me, all of these men are just looking like men's warehouse. Like, they're not giving me a whole bunch to really talk about so yeah all of them went with gray suits uh let's see i do apologize i said khalil had on a gray suit that was um that's not him over here on the end that's definitely um mr david david has on a, a gray suit he's on the gray suit committee as well now khalil on the other hand khalil pulls out a burgundy custom suit okay and it actually looks really really nice on him yeah, khalil i definitely enjoyed your burgundy suit uh next to him was ron yeah y'all know how i feel about old spray paint ass ron okay uh well he decided that he wanted to wear um a burgundy blazer with the um i guess it had like a, a silk I don't know what you call this um this part the collar i guess an extended collar it had like a silk extended collar and uh he has on black pants with that so um he looks like he could be you know getting ready to go ahead and go to his club to uh to promote cigar night at the club it looks like you know he could be doing valet you know what i'm saying i could pull up and he could park my car um, that's the kind of tease that he was giving. Andrea. Andrea looks like she has on, I can't tell from this particular screenshot that I took if this is a black dress or maybe like a maroonish, but, um, she looked nice. I enjoyed just the simple pulled back ponytail with the long thick braid. Um, I thought she looked really, um, elegant and classy. Then you have Dietrich. Who went with um, a classic black and white suit with the bow tie. And um, yeah, he wasn't, it wasn't much to write home about. These men really didn't put a whole lot of effort in it. I guess that was just like, look, we're going to get one last check for showing up to this shit. I'm going to run down to the uh, rent a suit and pick out something that looks decent on me. And I'm going to just come on down to the thing. Like, that's what I was getting from the men. So, yeah, that was Dietrich. Then beside Dietrich, we have uh, Alexis. You know, Alexis has been talking about the fashions ever since episode one. And, you know, much like the ball that they had in episode two or three, um, I didn't care for what Alexis had on. She definitely is rocking a, um, maybe like a deep red y'all i'm colorblind so if i get any of these colors wrong like <laughs> don't blame my heart blame my eyeballs because i am slightly colorblind it's just very much giving me i don't know maybe uh maybe like something that you may see in like a bride of frankenstein type of movie i don't know it's just not doing it for me <sighs> y'all I really wasn't going to get on Chris Anthem right about now. But, I mean, she's sitting beside David, so I have to. 
first of all, can somebody, anybody, tell me what the fuck is going on with Chris Anthem's hair? Does anybody understand what is going on with Chris Anthem's hair? I said, what in the refurbished Diana Ross wig is this on top of Chris Anthem's head? Child, this is a curly black Sharpay dog up on top of Chris Anthem's head. I don't know what this is. I don't know who her stylist was. And I don't know why she was okay with walking out there like that. But either way, it went like, y'all, the wig was so thick that the spot where the part was supposed to be, it wasn't even no part. So I was very much confused. I don't know if Chris Anthem did her own hair. I don't know if she done let somebody convince her that bigger was better for her, that darker was better for her. But all of it was wrong. Like the hair choice was an atrocious mess. Okay, go back to the drawing board and do that again. Okay, Chris Anthem, that wasn't it. And then, <clears throat> see, she got so much hair, it's getting in my damn throat. But anyway, then her um, her outfit of choice, you know, uh, for a reunion, it was definitely giving me majorette tees. It was definitely giving me um, maybe an old outfit that Destiny's Child was, you know, was going to put on at one point. But then they changed their mind because they realized that it looked a hot ass mess. Like that's what Chrysanthemum had on. And then she had on some red bottoms to go with it. But the red bottoms was not even the same sequence as the bodysuit that she had on. So it was just a lot going on with Chrysanthemum from the very top curl of her head all the way down to her shoes. Like she had a lot going on. But I'm not going to give her too much. Uh, of course, sitting beside her is her best friend, Stacy. Stacy had, <laughs> had on a um, 1995 Mariah Carey prom gown. And, you know, she was just happy to be there. And, I again, I don't know. They definitely went to the same place to get their hair done, but the stylist was not able to convince Stacy that this big curly hair was the thing, but the stylist was able to convince her to get some hair in her head that is not the same texture as her real hair, but they're going to blend the two combinations together. So we're going to do some spirally weave hair, and then we're going to pull your hair out at the top, and we're going to do like a little wispy side bang there, and um, nobody's going to know. Yeah, everybody knew. Yeah, everybody knew, but um, that is the style that uh, Stacy decided to go with, and yeah, I, listen, the Gross Sisters did what they did. They came in <laughs> looking a fool. Then we get to Ida. Now, I will say that Ida was definitely in my top three. She's in my top three for best dressed. This reunion she has on a deep red dress. I mean, body sitting, titties is sitting, hair is on point. That hair was everything Ida. i don't know how long you've been rocking that style but keep right i know you was rocking it since the beginning of this season but listen baby that's you Ida has a naturally gorgeous face but that short blonde cut on her oh it gives it gives i enjoyed her makeup um like i said i love the hair and um, this dress is, is everything on her. I think she has the body for it. She's sitting pretty. It's got a high slit. Um, she picked the right shoes to go with it. The shoes matched her jewelry. And it also matched <laughs> that 14 karat girl gold hair that she got sitting up there. And yeah, Miss Ida said she did not come to play with you hoes. And that's just what it was. So um, I feel like... <laughs> Ida could have went ahead and gave the gross sisters a call and was like, look, this is how you do it. But, you know, considering that Ida got kicked off rather early, she didn't really get a chance to make friends with the girls. So, moving on, now we're going back across the couch and we're going to start with um, another one of my top threes, which was Miss Liz. Liz 
Liz is giving me Jasmine from um, Aladdin, okay? She's giving me a little bit of um, I Dream of Jeannie, but she is really killing this blue dress. Um, the dress has, it looks like it could be a little bit of silkish. It's also got some embroidery in it. We're getting some sheer. Her shoes are nice. They match. The earrings look nice. Now, I will say... I really didn't care for the hair. I feel like it um, gave her an older look or um, maybe not necessarily older, but I feel like it just made her look her age. And um, I feel like Liz can do a lot more with her hair that um, that will make her not look her age. It can make her look a lot younger, but I understand that this was supposed to be a very classy type of situation. So, I mean, of course you always wanna go with the hair off the face. Um, and a lot of times you wanna go with a updo versus a downdo, but yeah, the hair was a miss for me, but it's not tragic. You know what I'm saying? It's nothing wrong with it. I, I just don't care for it. But um, as far as the dress and the shoes, so from the earrings down, Liz, you was giving me everything that needed to be gave. Um, and we know that Jason is also on the gray suit committee, so we're not going to talk about him. And then, of course, we get to my number one <laughs> best dress is Miss Vernicia. Okay, Vernicia is giving me shimmy shimmy cocoa puff with this um money green sparkling dress that she has on and i think that the um green sleeves that she has on i think they were uh detachable i don't even think that they're attached to the dress and then she is rocking some um it looks like a nude color red bottoms and she went with the simple hair off the face you know again the hair was nothing to write home about but I get it, you know, in these situations, it's not really supposed to be about the hair. It's supposed to be about, you know, your makeup, your accessories, and actually um, what you have on. So, I definitely get it. But, yes, I definitely enjoyed this shimmery green up against um, Vernicia's voluptuous skin. Okay, so, do your thing, Miss Venetia. And then... There was good old, tall, handsome Joelle right beside her. And Joelle hit us up with, it looks to me, to be a um, a burgundy, I mean, I'm sorry, I said burgundy, a navy blue, navy blue blazer, uh, white button down up under that, and maybe, I guess this is a pink, a pink tie, gray pants, and some black shoes. Now, I know this sounds like a lot, but I think I got the screenshot in there of him, and he's giving. You know what I'm saying? We already know that Joel rocks the ball head and the braces, and he, he does it well. He's still a smooth operator, and I enjoyed his um his outfit of choice. Okay. Then, um, then we go all the way to Zamunda, and when we got to Chris and Amber. <sighs> Now, I know a lot of y'all are going to really come for my neck, but Chris and Amber got worse dress for me. I had no understanding of what was going on with either one of their outfits, okay? Um, <laughs> Chris has on this off-white uh, suit and it's got all kind of embroidery and glitter and um just it's a lot going on with the suit and i know that chris already is an eccentric type of um he has an eccentric type of fashion anyway so i had already prepared myself for him to not come out there looking regular degular i knew that but you know, this particular suit, I don't know. It's just giving me... I don't really know what the suit is giving me, y'all. The suit is giving me a little earth, wind, and fire. Um, The suit is giving me... What's that dude name from... um Who used to always go up against Prince and the Revolution? When he sung that song... Um, mm -hmm. Think I wanna know you, know you, da 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 da. 
them. Listen. I don't, I'm sorry, Chris. It, it was just a no for me. I didn't, I didn't like it. And then we jumped over to Amber and I assume that Amber was just trying to kind of go along with the same theme that Chris had on with the suit. So, like I said, she was also in Zamunda because she had, she had one arm out, but then she had a sleeve on the other arm, but then the sleeve had a daggone rattlesnake coming up out of her arm that was wrapping around her neck. Huh? So, like, it definitely. <laughs> so, I don't know. I guess they were supposed to be representing Wakanda. I, you know, it was definitely giving me coming to America, too. You know, uh, I. I didn't like it. AJ went with a uh, black suit with a uh, red looks like to be um maybe like a red half blazer underneath there and a um red handkerchief on the side so you know he didn't he didn't do too much you know it doesn't take much for aj to look nice he's just a naturally um nice chocolate looking man so yeah he just went regular old black and red on y'all okay and then last but not least there is miss kyra kyra came out in a um soft pink or maybe this is champagne i'm not sure which one but um she came out in a satin dress and i saw where kyra was going and kyra's fashions are always a hit or miss for me because i have not really enjoyed any of the fashions that she has hit me with on the show but i've also been to kyra's instagram and um she actually has some cute fashion sense so i don't know if it just didn't come across right on the camera or you know is, is she just always kind of 50 50. sometimes she gets the fashions right and sometimes she don't but um you know i don't see anything wrong with the satin dress i just feel like kyra um loves to have her puppies out okay and it's absolutely nothing wrong with that you know what i'm saying if you got it flaunted but i just feel like she needs to raise them guys up a little bit for the things that she likes to wear because um it kind of gives her the saggy boob look like you're giving me long titty vibes and um, I'm not saying that that's necessarily the case, but um, that's just what a lot of her um, a lot of her outfits look like. Like it, it was a dress that she had on one time. It was like this pink dress with some kind of strapping going across it, and she, and it was a one of her dresses that she wore in the confessional, and like the dress looked like it was cute, but the titties was throwing me off. Like the titties looked like they were screaming for help. Then um, when she came out at the hot tub with the bikini on, the titties just wasn't doing it for me. So like, I don't know what it is. Uh, I don't know if she's buying the wrong sizes. I don't know if she just don't believe in pushing them up when she puts on the stuff that she put on. She just wants them to hang at their, you know, at their natural wayside. Listen. It's none of my business because, you know, my titties hang low and they do wobble to the flow. The little bit that I got, you know what I'm saying? They're not perky. They are very much um, out of gas, okay? So, I'm not coming for Kyra, but I just feel like Kyra's bra selection is on one speed. She either going to have on this one particular bra that have her titties sitting at the natural wayside, or she's not going to put on a bra at all which has them sitting at the natural wayside. So, that's what you get, okay? Now, the fashions are completely out of the way. Let's go ahead and jump into the episode. 